This is Matrix Lord 212 from Matrix Vlog. Hello, everybody. So, um, I wanted to make this video. I just wanted to put it out there. Um, very disappointed in people that I have held in a high regard. People that claim to be my friends, were my friends. In this day and age with virtual and social media you meet people online i've had met many people online doing podcasts thousands of podcasts and i've done so many stuff with them that i consider them friends even though i personally never visited them so you know you come across new people all the time and you try to support them and you try to help them and you know, a lot of times people ask us on the Real Wings cast to boost their new podcast, their new channel, their new this. And we do when we support our new friends and then they turn on you. Um, there's a lot of stuff said about me lately that is disgusting, is, is horrible. Uh, and I laid it out on Twitter. Okay. Now, as you guys know. When I do my podcasts, when I do my live streams, the lighting is bad. I know that. I don't have a microphone. I know that. Okay? Costs money. Don't have the money to do that. So, I'm not concerned with the views and the subs. I look to have a good time. Yes, I started making thumbnails for like the soda lesson, the donut lesson, but most of the time I'm lazy, I just don't make a thumbnail. I don't get dolled up for the camera. I'm in a friggin' t-shirt. I'm in any and I'm in a I'm in a hoodie. I'm not getting dressed up. And I really don't care what people think of me. Um yesterday my whole tooth came out because I've been, I was supposed to go to the dentist and take care of it, and I didn't. Had an infection, so I had to get rid of that. Then my tooth came out, and I could have stopped doing videos. I could have just waited until I got it repaired, you know, because maybe people make fun of you, but I don't give a shit. It's never been about that. It's never been about dolling myself up for the camera and being fake. Always being real here. You know, what you see is what you get, okay? Not getting dressed up for the camera, not getting my hair done for the camera. My hair is a mess. My stuff is a mess. And still people lie about me everywhere. That I'm looking for subs and views. That is the biggest thing that pisses me off because I don't look for subs and views. I know full well that most of you don't give a shit about me talking about a Spider-Man comic. I don't care. I know full well that me eating a donut or drinking a soda or having pizza is not bringing in the views. I don't care. It's comedy to me. It's a joke. Okay? There's no professional thing. I mean, yeah, I had bad wolf. I hired him to do the... the intro for the donut lesson and the pizza lesson but i'm not getting the best equipment i'm not doing the whole this whole crazy thing it's a joke within a joke so if i was concerned about views and if i was concerned about subs i would look at the analytics i would see what works and what doesn't work i don't care okay i talk about what i want to talk about on youtube if i was concerned with views and subs and income I would do live streams every single friggin' day because you make money with live streams and donations and stuff like that. My channel was approved for membership. I have to set it up and I still haven't for weeks. Okay. My channel was evolved and approved by Google to do that. And I still haven't done that. So it's not about the views and the subs. Now, don't get me wrong. If I actually invested time and effort into the YouTube channel, I can make more money than what I'm doing now, but there's a lot of things going on during this pandemic. Now, some people 
will lie on Twitter and try to make you believe, oh, he's looking for views, he's looking for subs, and my subscribers know better. And they laugh about this because they're like, are you kidding, dude? Are you serious? So there's so many things I could do for views and subs to boost my channel. I could buy nice lighting. I could buy a nice microphone. Um, I could have nice titles. I could, you know, maybe improve a camera, maybe get a new laptop, maybe do all these different things. Um, maybe shoot on a professional camera, maybe get a GoPro, maybe do all these. And I don't do it. Okay, I don't always even live stream the games. And if you notice when I'm doing the live stream half the times, it's not monetizing until after the thing is over because I just don't like I'm not technical savvy to know to set that up before it records so I would have to in the middle of the podcast go to another screen to activate the monetization but I just I don't make graphics up I don't do all these things I don't have a robot named author like give me a break with your lies dude I'm so sick of it the evidence is all over the place I don't do shit for views and subs, okay? I have a definition of respect. Maybe it's different from people in the UK or maybe those people in the UK are just idiots. But if you claim you're my friend and you're my friend, and if you wanna say something to me that would embarrass me in public, you send me a DM. If you attack me on Twitter in a public forum and you, and you say you're a friend, which you have before, that's disrespectful and you're using it as a stage. And if you don't know that or realize that, then something's wrong with you personally. But I don't tolerate attacks like that. Like, And it's worse when it's coming from someone that's a friend. Now, my definition of, like, I have friends in my life that are such good friends that we don't need to talk to each other every day. Every minute of the day. I could, something could happen. I not talked to them for like six months. They're still best friends. They're still whatever. So like, you don't have to be up each other's ass to be a friend. You don't have to be in company with the person to be a friend. This is a different era. Maybe Mr. 50 year old doesn't get that with the virtual and all the other stuff. But like, it's old school that they have to be like, meet the person and, and, in, in person. What the fuck does that mean now? This day and age, you're doing everything virtual. So you're meeting all these people like that you probably wouldn't go see. I have people in the UK. Am I going to go to the UK? I wish I could, but probably not. I know people in Australia. Am I going to go to Australia? Probably not. Doesn't mean that they're not friends. So that's stupid definition of friendship. And it's funny how people could turn off calling you a friend when they want an agenda, you know? So I researched a little bit. I'm like, why does this guy, why did this guy attack me? And then I look, oh, he's rebranding his YouTube channel. Stuff wasn't working. And then I go back a year and I'm like, oh, he tried to rebrand it again. Then I go back another year. Oh, he tried to rebrand it again. So I'm like looking and I start to see a pattern that he keeps wanting to do stuff on his channel, like gaming or whatever. But then it, the drama side of him keeps winning out and he keeps changing his whole channel from what he promises. And then on Twitter, he's attacking everybody. And I never really went on his Twitter, so I didn't realize, wow, this guy likes to have a go with everybody. He started constantly attacking, like, you know, 20-year-olds and this generation that's not his. He's constantly going after his government. He's constantly going after things with Dr. He's constantly going after stuff. And it's all a drama Hoovian channel. Or, I'm sorry, Twitter. And then on his channel, he's somewhat squeaky clean. But, you know, it's a thing where he's been trying so hard every year to rebrand his channel. So naturally, I think a week or two weeks ago, he we tried to make a new channel introduction. I didn't know this. You know, I saw him on a Twitch stream. He had two followers. I became a follower. I was a third follower. Okay, how you doing, dude? Whatever. I expect the same in return. Like, I check on people. Check on me. Don't use me for subs and views. Like, so you attack Matrix Lord 212. Not Matrix Lord 212 the friend. Not Joe the friend. You attack me on Twitter. Everybody's watching. You get a little rise. And that's terrible. 
And I get very immature when people attack me. I'm beyond immature. I'm beyond childish when people attack me. And I just am so sarcastic that I will become that prick. I will become that son of a bitch that you just wished you never fucking messed with. And even now, he's probably like, why did I say everything? Why did I say all these things to him? Like, and of course, all these people on YouTube, such egos, they can't fucking apologize. They can't even see that they do wrong. And I tried to have a conversation with him today. It was very nice. It was very professional. He was an asshole, honestly. And then I didn't realize, he's like, I'm going to stop talking about you, whatever, and whatever. Box me, that's fine, on Facebook. Did you realize he's still talking shit on his Twitter? Still. And I said, if you're going to talk about me, I'm going to respond. So, obviously, he talked about me a lot. I'm responding. You know, not mention his name directly. The 50-year-old that talks about Doctor Who, but... Oh, anyway. Very disappointed. So, no, I don't get dolled up for the cameras. I, if I scroll down, I don't want you to see my chest hair. It's like all like craziness. I'm just, like, my tooth is out. I mean, come on, man. Not about the views, not about the subs, but it should be. I should have responsibility to make my channel better instead of being lazy. I should do stuff for views. I should do stuff for subs. I should be like, like and subscribe all the time. I don't. It's my fault. Sometimes, like, the YouTube channel and your Twitter is a thing, like, where you just like to post. You like to whatever, like, you know, I know people don't give a shit if I drink soda or have a donut or a cookie. It's my own amusement. I have fun. I know that on my gaming channel, I, like, people probably like, this is boring as fuck. Because all I do is like, oh, this is my 208th Platinum. This is my 209th Platinum. It's like, a, I use the gaming thing as a, as like a, a record for me, really. To show all my Platinums and everything and my achievements. So that way when I do become a top gamer, it's all out there. So, like, I do that in the spare time too. But like, and I, I start the live stream a little bit with the gaming. But not that much. But I do it on my main channel. Because this whole thing with YouTube is like, you have to... Get so many things to get to, like, monetization. So, to me, it was a waste now that I did all those other channels. Because, like, not, they're not going anywhere. So, I'm just ranting, guys. I mean, again, I... We were sleeping this morning. And then the Twitter thing woke us up. Beep, 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 beep. And I... Look, here's another thing, too. I respect all my fans and subscribers and everything, right? Please just don't, like, antagonize anybody. Don't cause any problems for me. Don't, like, I mean, I understand you guys like me, you love me, whatever. I love you guys too. But the thing is, this guy said something to me about ghost accounts. I'm like, what the fuck is a ghost account? I guess he's insinuating that, like, everybody that gave him constructive criticism... Is me and not, I have nobody in my corner, which is such bullshit. It's not even fucking funny. So, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Who Watcher. I, she's on um, Twitter. And I do appreciate you sending me stuff about the 50 year old and this one and that one. Um, but. I don't want to see anything anymore, please. Because I'm just getting aggravated. I'm getting stressed out. And I know I know you're trying to help me out. And I appreciate it, please. I do. But don't send me anything. And, and, and you know what? This is to everybody. Unless it's something where my life is in danger by a threat, please don't send me anything about these people like that I can't see, that I'm blocked. And to the other person that's a friend of the bully that wants to bring him down. Dude, just do it yourself. Like, I know you're doing it already, but I don't send me any any things anymore either. I don't want to be bothered with that either. You know, me and Sharon got woken up today. It's like, that's it. 
No more. No more is just Twitter garbage nonsense. I, I used it too much past couple of days where I'm getting upset with people attacking. And it's just taken... I just didn't get any platinums that much because I got one, but I'm wasting too much time on Twitter. And that's screwing up my goals and everything. So I don't want to know what the 50-year-old um, doctor O guy is doing. And I don't want to know what uh, the kid is doing that's bullying everybody. I just... I just need space, you know, and, and I, I do protect my members, but you got to understand if you're attacking someone I know, they're going to be pissed. And unless you apologize, they're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And I don't condone some of the stuff that they do, but I understand it. So there was some things that Memory said recently that I understand he was hurting and he was attacked and he was venting, but I didn't agree with what he said, I didn't know, thought he went too far, I told him that, but still, that doesn't give the other asshole that he said something to, the bully, an excuse to be an asshole, which he's constantly doing on Twitter, constantly canceling culture, he's so much into trying to destroy John Barrowman and everyone else, just give it up, dude, stop, but he won't, so now I just, you know what, I'm just gonna, I just have to put Twitter down and ignore it. If, if stuff is said really, really, really bad, maybe I'll respond. Maybe I'll be back and commenting and whatever, but I just got to give it a rest. I got to give it a rest because I'm ultimately being played like a puppet, like I'm being used. Like these people, like the 50-year-old the guy needs subs. He needs views. Not me. He does. Like, and he said something about, uh, I got to be like, I, I can't hang with the big boys. And I thought that was the funniest shit I've ever heard because he has like 187 subscribers and I have 1,300 and whatever. So you must, maybe you added wrong with your subscribers or maybe like you just are so full of yourself that you just believe who the hell you are. Like you're something in this community, which you're really not. I mean, at all. So, go to your own horn, I guess, with your two followers on Twitch. One probably being your robot, the other one probably being your wife, and, and you know, whatever. And then your 187 subscribers, which is probably composed of some of your friends, obviously. Um, probably a huge percentage of that, because I'm sure you got a lot of friends. Um, whatever, man. I mean, like, just don't use me, like... You just attack, like, I was just on your stream, like, last week, supporting you, and you just, out of the blue, you just attack. Now, is it because of your military background? Because not all people in the military are assholes, but, like, you think you just shout at me like you're, I'm your cadet? Like, have some fucking respect. Like, talk to me in a DM. You right away, like, talking to me like I'm a child. Yet, do you see this shit on your Twitter? Do you see it you're screaming at, like, 20-year-olds or 30-year-olds and... These people, you're a fucking baby, but whatever. I'm not going to, you know, and then I'm disappointed in his group because now I got attacked twice from his group and the leader of that group has done shit to stop it, Um, has done nothing to stop it. Just allows like, all right, you don't want to be, you make it like you're not role models, but you're a responsibility if you have a group on YouTube and you make a series of videos and you want people to follow you and subscribe to you and you have fans, you have a responsibility that your group is not fake. Like the thing you see is genuine. Like all your people, like not all your people, I'm sorry. A few of your people going out there and doing crazy, horrible shit. And then they come in your chat about Doctor and they fucking all smiles and shit and let's do this fucking trivia and let's do this and all fucking fake. All fake. So you have a responsibility. So I got a responsibility in my group. You know, if somebody's going out there doing crazy shit, I'm, I'm going to suspend them. I'm going to fire them from the group. I'm going to kick them out. I'm going to reprimand. But of course, if someone's attacked from my group and they go at the person, that the bullies that they attacked, I'm not going to say anything if, unless it's too far. But like, you have responsibility. Like, you know, this, this woman's going to destroy my group. You fucking tell her off. I don't care if it's your partner, your number one 
right-hand woman. You tell her, stop and knock it off. You have your other guy, the 50-year-old, like, you're right, it didn't bother your chat before, but now he's attacking me. Know that my fans are going to fucking flip about it. And I don't want them to, but I can't control what people do. This is, people are free of speech. So if, if, if your people are going to give you shit that's going to cause your chat to get fucked up, maybe you should have the balls and to tell them, don't come after me or don't block me or don't be like an asshole to me. I'm the guy that you guys came to to promote your shit before you started, when you were not my doctor, who were doc not my doctor. And then when something happened with me and somebody else, you disrespect me and say nobody cares and you laugh about me and others. Like, you're fucked up. And I said that that was fucked up, always. And you knock and you bash and you knock and you bash and like, you know, you think like you're so holier than now and bigger than anybody. You guys suck. There's some people on your podcast I really like. They're cool people I'm still friends with. Oh, and yeah, the, the doctor guy, the 50th guy, oh, tell me, first of all, you don't tell me who the fuck to talk to. I'm still friends in that group. So I'm still going to talk to people, whatever. You don't fucking tell me. I Fuck off, dude. Smack the shit out of you if was, I was in front of you. You're a dick. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're a bully, too. You're a big goof. Goes tells me to eat donuts and soda. Fuck you. Asshole. Shit. People are fucking stupid. So I'm disappointed in you, leader of that group, that you're you're making all your fucking people attack. You're not making, but you're you don't say something to your group like, hey guys, we have an, a young audience, we have this, let's talk about Doctor Who. Maybe you shouldn't be attacking people. Why did you attack Matrix Lord on Twitter? No, of course not. I doubt that ever took place. Because you're all fucking fucked up in the head. Not all, some of them. I do have friends with some of you guys in your group. And I liked your group until shit went real about me. I'm like, what the fuck is that about? And I even did a podcast to try to protect your fucking hashtag name that time. I didn't have to do that. Try to bring about peace and brought everybody in there. And I think we had a nice dialogue and people that were screaming at each other was calm at the end of it. Of course, nobody's friends now, but still, like, I tried. What have you guys done for me, Dick. Not that I asked for anything, but I've never seen you fucking put me on your fucking chat or, or or boost me. Not that I fucking asked you to do, but you guys asked me to do it. That's what I'm talking about is respect. There is no fucking respect. You guys are a bunch of fucking users. You guys are a bunch of subs and views. I'm not, obviously. If I was, I'd get my fucking act together. So don't tell me I'm for views and subs when my fucking camera sucks and my my... Microphone sucks, and I don't really do graphics and shit. Don't be a fucking bunch of stupid assholes. Please, fucking dumb fucks. Unbelievable. It's very easy to say stupid shit, like, oh, it's about views and subs. Stop repeating what I was saying about the other asshole. And by the way, Doctor Who is not finished. If you really were a chat about Doctor Who, you would fucking understand that. That we have a 13th doctor, but of course you're anti-Jody, but whatever. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now.